Alright, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on this P0325 code. That's the knock sensor malfunction. And I just want to walk you through what it is, what causes it, and how you go about fixing it. So basically, what this knock sensor does is it listens for engine knock or pinging. That's like little explosions happening in the cylinder when they ain't supposed to. And it sends a signal to the computer so the ECM can adjust the ignition timing to keep the engine running smooth and safe. When the sensor goes bad or the wiring gets messed up, the ECM doesn't get the signal it needs and it throws that P0325 code. Now, this one usually shows up on older engines, Hondas, Toyotas, Nissans, that kind of thing. But I've seen it on a bunch of cars over the years. So first thing I always check is the wiring. If the connector is broken, corroded or full of oil, that can trigger the code even if the sensor itself is fine. So go down there. Usually it's under the intake manifold or on the block and just give that connector a good look. Make sure it's clean, dry and plugged in tight. Now, if the wiring looks good, the next step is to test the knock sensor. Now, I'll be honest, it ain't the easiest sensor to get to on most engines. A lot of the time, especially on V6 engines, it's under the intake manifold. So if you're going to replace it, you might need to pull that off. Just depends on your setup. Now, if you want to test it first, some people use an ometer to check the resistance. Most knock sensors should read somewhere between 500 kilos and 600 kilos, but check your specs. If it's way off or reads open, the sensor's probably shot. And honestly, if the sensor's original and your car's got a lot of miles, I usually just go ahead and replace it. Especially if I already had to pull the manifold. Just makes sense while you're in there. Now another thing, if you're getting this code and the car's running rough, hanging or you're hearing a ticking sound under load then yeah this code could be pointing to an actual knock issue not just a bad sensor so make sure you're not running low octane gas or have carbon buildup causing pre-ignition but usually with p0325 it's just the sensor or the wiring if you do replace the knock sensor use a torque wrench and tighten it to spec these things are sensitive and if you over tighten it or use a cheap one that doesn't fit right, it won't pick up the knock properly. That's basically it. Check the wiring, test or replace the sensor, clear the code and take it for a drive. Most of the time it's just a bad sensor or connector. If this helped you out, go ahead and hit like, maybe subscribe if you want more and I'll catch you in the next one.